we have a few cans of food and a... All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Oh, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Easy. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Ha! Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's deer been here in recent night. How can you tell? How can you tell? and slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track them. Well, in grass and woods. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Good shot. Now let's try for another.
Well done. Think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Head back. Gear! Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out! Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Ha! Oh, watch it. up here, off the trail. now? Five, six months? Uh, careful. Something like that? Bet you didn't expect this. What? 
any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> he taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch tie him over here. Brought some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. What a surprise. We find a camp rat. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. 